Like I said before, we got there on... Bullock was down. He said there were still suspects inside, so I entered. And then I heard the name Halfcock. Freeze! Police! I guess Batman must have gotten a second wind after Detective Bullock dragged him out. Because he was in rare form. Behind you! I was just about to cuff them when the whole place started to come down. Before I knew what happened, Batman pushed me out of the way. I was buried alive. There was nothing I could do. Commissioner, it's just not true. Bullock went in early. Bullock? You okay? You don't look so good. I mean, you never look good. But today you look worse. Well, you're sure full of holiday spirit. What are you doing for New Year's? <sighs> We've got a situation here. Send reinforcements. Batman, you nearly gave me a heart attack. Listen, Long Ears, we don't need your help. What happened? We... We don't know. We've searched the premises from top to bottom, but found nothing. Anything else? The city's going crazy from the damage caused by Black Mask and Scarface. Everything seems to be under control now, but we haven't been able to contact Arkham Asylum. No one can get in or out. I don't know what you've heard, but LexCore's doing some exobite research that troubles me. I've seen Lex's files. The public doesn't know about it. But he's done some things. Things that would horrify you. I'm talking experiments on children. Distorting superpowers to the point of burning out the person who has them. All of this, and then dumping bodies in the hazardous waste bins and shredding the documents. But I've seen them. I have them. And when we can prove that they're real, we're taking him down. Taking down one of the world's largest industrialists? And the secret society, though. That's a job for Superman, or Batman, or the Justice League. Because I'm not the answer. I am only the question. I noticed you looked pretty miserable when you came in. One of those days. One of those lives. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So, you're a cop? A detective? You have a problem with that? <laughs> What's a cop supposed to look like? Uh, yeah, you did. You're good. Something wrong? What? No. No. Look, I do have to go, but can I give you my card? Call me? Yeah, right. Look, I promise I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? I used to think you were a threat, but I was wrong. We both have much bigger problems right now. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Those guys had me pinned down. If you hadn't shown up when you did, I, I don't know what I was thinking coming out here alone. I nearly blew it. I could be dead. Or you could be dead. And it'd be on me. Yeah, I owe you big for this one. I still don't understand how they knew I was coming. Oh, Batman. Gordon's in briefing the deputy ops. I'm sure I'd want to know you were here. Waller's agency people commandeered the whole precinct. Pretty much moved in. They give you any trouble, I'll straighten them out. Running around like they own the place. They got no respect for the way we do things. I'd shout it from the rooftops if you acted like it was true. He's here, Captain. The roof. And Captain Gordon ordered us to be here. So you're stuck with us. Though you'll be making our jobs a lot easier if you remain indoors. There's no way to know where or when your husband will show up. I'm sorry, ma'am, but that's not true. All right, I know you're in there. So it was you I heard. Get back here. Ha! Hey, Isley, quit standing there with your fist raised in triumph and go home!